Good morning. It's just after half past nine on Saturday the 17th of April. I did start recording this vlog and then got thrown off because someone knocked on next door's front door and our front doors are next to each other so we always like, is that me or next door? It was next door. Anyway, the sun is shining. It's a gorgeous day. No rain is forecast so the washing machine is on in the background. You've been here when the sun is shining. I have to get stuff hung up so that it can dry. Um, other things, I was busy last weekend so I didn't vlog and I'm not busy this weekend. So we are vlogging. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do because I don't really have a lot planned. Uh, food shop tomorrow and I do need to take my car to get washed because it's covered in seagull shit because I live at the coast. I'm well aware I could get it washed, I could wash it myself, I probably could, but I'm quite short and I would struggle even my little car to reach all of the roof to clean it. I wouldn't do a very good job. I live on a terraced street, so it's awkward to get a hose pipe out and I don't have a hose pipe. Most importantly, I hate washing my car. Non-essential retail opens again on Monday, which included the car wash two minutes away from my house. So I'm going to take it to them because it will be less than 10 minutes and they will do a far better job than I can. Um, so, I just need to go and get some cash at some point because I don't have any and haven't had any for months. That That's the thing that's going on. Um, reading wise, uh, I just changed all my reading plans this month because um, I wasn't going to get the final Codex Alira book straight away and read it straight away. I got up to page 224 last night. Um, I've read the other two that I was planning to this month. I read four and five. And when I went to add this to my wish list, because I have a wish list for books next in series that I'm reading, uh, so that if I ever have any vouchers, I can just, you know, may as well continue on with the series. This has been sat at 9 99 every time I've looked at it, but it was six pounds. So I clearly needed to get it. And then when it came, I was like, I just want to finish the series now. I don't want to read anything else. Uh, so we're going to be working on that. It's 700 pages long-ish, just under 700 pages long, so quite a way to go. But I'm really enjoying it so far. really enjoyed the series. Um, another book that I, I've taken the dust jacket off because I've left it upstairs. Can I pick up the... can I pick up the spaceship? Anyway, this is World Seen in Passing. It's 10 years of Tor.com short fiction and I've been meaning to get round to it. I want to use this as my short story square on the bingo for hard mode because I want to read the entire collection. There's about 40 short stories in here. It's really, really printed small, but I haven't started it yet. And I added it to my Goodreads account last weekend. So I really do need to get started on that because I want to do some of them as F S I always get this mix up. I always want to, I want to do some of them as SFF short videos. And other than that, cross stitch. Um, I have actually been doing cross stitch rather than reading again, because this is so much fun. So this is where we are now. Um, so this is going well. Um, I'm going to try and finish this bit this weekend and then start working down the pylon. And then it's just the body of the enterprise and then more background and then a little bit of backstitch, a lot of backstitch around the Enterprise and then it's finished. Um, I'm not doing the French knots. There's 1500 white French knots on this to make more stars but I kind of think there's enough stars in the background already and someone else finished this and posted it on Reddit without the French knots and I think it looked really good without them. I think it just gets too busy in the blue area with the French knots. Um, so I'm going to work on this and I really want to be working on it now, but we can't now. We have other things to do. So that's where we are with pretty much everything. I did DNF a couple of books this week. Might go into those later, might not. I've got a couple of video ideas, but one of them's really long winded and it's going to take a lot of work to get that written. But that's not for now, that would be for August, because it's a Stephen King based video. But anyway, I think I'm going to make a cup of tea, do a bit of reading perhaps, um, my washing machine's nearly finished, and then I need to go out for a walk and get some pennies to take my car for a wash. So, oh, one last thing, I have a haircut booked 
for the 1st of May so we can get this dealt with which I'm really excited about because my hairdresser I used to go to doesn't work where she used to work and it's in my parents town so I'm trying a new place in my town and it's uh, about one street over so um, we'll see how that one goes and I'll talk to you later on it's quarter past one and I've not done a great deal to be honest um, I've had lunch put some washing out and read another 50 pages of First Lord's Fury. I really just want to read this today. Um, there's a lot going on. It's just one giant battle, really. There's a few different perspectives. We ha do have people moving around away from the battle and plotting things, but it is mostly battle. I think it's going to be the case for most of the book. And I'm really enjoying it. It's the sixth and final book in the Codex Alera and... I'm going to read most of the afternoon. I will check in in about an hour, I think, and let you know how it's going because I may want to just wander around and do a few other things instead. It's about an hour later and I'm on page 380-something, 384. And yet yeah, we're still just in battle and plotting for the next battle and watching people move to the next battle. But I'm really enjoying this, um, but I think I'm going to have a little bit of a break. I'm a little bit over halfway now and I am going to just go and watch some YouTube for a bit but back to this later on because this is just everything I want to do today. This hasn't been an exciting vlog because all I've done is read First Lord's Fury. Um, it's quarter past five. I'm on page 458 and I'm hoping to finish this tonight. It's only quarter past five and I've got 230 pages left. Shall we have a go at trying to finish this tonight? I mean, that would be a lot of pages read, but it's getting so good. It's getting so good. Um, I might order some pizza, then I don't have to cook. I think that's a good idea. It is half past six and pizza is here. And we are watching Keith's live stream because I finally managed to get back onto my Twitch account. So I'm going to watch some bad Saturday morning telly. Good morning. It is quarter to eleven on Sunday the 18th now. Um, I did not manage to finish First Lord's Fury last night. I went to bed with about a hundred pages left and this morning I decided to read a little bit more instead of you know updating the vlog. I've got 40 pages left to read this morning which I'm going to do right now. Um, I've made so much progress yesterday I just could not quite finish the book. Really really enjoying it and we just hit the climax this morning but then I had to go out and do my shopping so I had to put the book down and I'm really sorry about how boring yesterday's vlog was because it was just a case of me going I'm going to read this and then every couple of hours I've read a bit more of this I've read a bit more of this hopefully today will be a little bit more interesting but we shall see but I am now going to read the last of the last book in the Codex Alera and that is another series that I have finished so I'm going to let you know what I think at the end. It's half past 11 and I've just finished First Lord's Fury so I finished the whole Codex Alira series, all six books. So I've had so much fun reading these, I've really enjoyed them. I bought the first book ages ago and it was part of last year's TBR challenge and I just really enjoyed reading it. Didn't quite expect to finish the series this early on in the year. I thought I would stagger it a little bit more but I've read two of them so far this month and I finished off one I was reading last month so I've kind of read two and a bit over half of the Codex Illyra but once I got going on those last books I was not stopping. I rated them all four stars, really really enjoyed them but a couple of them just took a little while to decide what they were going to do in the book and the pacing just kind of dragged a bit. There was a lot of moving people to the right place to continue on with plot but I still just really really enjoyed it. So I didn't mark book five as anything for the bingo but I'm going to be using this one 
not guarantee it's going to be my final board but I have marked it I have marked it as a cat squasher because this one is 691 pages long the previous one I read was only just over 500 so I didn't mark that one it doesn't make a lion squasher because that needs to be over 800 pages and I've also marked it as a backlist book because it does fulfill the criteria of a book that's not the most current book and is from an author that is still publishing and not an ongoing series so I could have included book five but I decided not to and I'm counting this one as backlist and cat squasher neither of which are in hard mode and I don't think they really cover anything else I had a quick look through so what else am I going to read today I think I'm going to go and have a look at some short stories in my tour.com big book that I need to start and start looking at those short stories and I might start writing some videos because I have nothing prepared for today and I'm not at work tomorrow so I can record tomorrow but I think I'm going to do a journal with me video today and I was going to do the book as a review it's a novella I read but I think I'll just do it as a book journal with me video instead of doing the review and then I can catch up with this I only have those two books to do in my book journal the novella and this one and then later on we'll be picking something to read something that's not nearly 700 pages I think something that's a little bit shorter that can yeah something shorter I've read quite a few big books this month um, so that's it for me for now and I will update you later on with what's going on it is 10 to 2 ish now and I've uploaded tonight's video which is the book haul which I'm excited about because there are some great books on there so I think I'm gonna go for a walk now and then when I come back I'll pick something to read late on today although I do have some short stories to read but I think I will go and pick another book. It's quarter past four and I had quite a lovely walk. Uh, it's not an interesting walk to show on camera at all, it's just literally a loop around some streets. I did not go to the beach or the parks because I think they're just going to be very very busy since the weather is so nice. The sky is blue, I'm looking at it now, it's just lovely out there. Um, a little bit chilly breeze coming off the sea but not too bad. It's just nice to be out and getting some sunshine. So I'm sat on the floor because I'm trying to pick what I want to read next and all I know is I don't want to read a massive fantasy book so that's fortunate because the fantasy shelf is right up at the top so I have my yearly reading challenge at the top then my fantasy shelf then my science fiction shelf and then the next two shelves just are now anything because the whole thing needs rearranging again and I'm just trying to think what I want to read what am I in the mood for and I would would like to read The Wolf, Wolf of Aranyaro by K.S. Veloso this is going to fit into a lot of fantasy squares on the um, bingo but it's a trilogy I don't think I'm really in the mood to be starting a new series I've just finished a big one so I'd like to read I don't know what I want to read um, I've got House of Shattered Wings hmm. I'm not sure I want something that's definitely going to be a bit shorter so I also have my brand new books in front of me because I haven't put them on the shelf yet because like I say this soul needs rearranging um, I will point out that I am planning on reading Mythargo Wood for the forest setting um, but not yet, not yet. I could read some science fiction masterworks, I do have a few of those. Um, I've got Kate Wilhelm, where late the sweet birds sang, that's not too long so that's a possibility. I'm just in one of those moods, I don't quite know what I want. Um, I've got an Arcadian Boris Drugatsky, but that's quite a long one. I don't think I want to read that. A short story collection, I, I'm reading the tall one, so perhaps not that. Um, Joe Abercrombie's a bit longer 
that I want to read. I've read the original trilogy and now I'm on the standalone, so I've got Best Served Cold. Um, definitely don't want to read a 647 page book. Um, definitely not. Um, so, have my new books here. That's too long. Those are too long. That's a possibility. The Hollow Kingdom. I know it's part of a series. This is about 300 pages long. The second book I think is coming out soon. Or there's also, I think this might be cheating a bit because this is definitely a fast read, Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett. That's just under 300 pages long and the font's a lot bigger. So which one am I in the mood for? Um, I think I've just flipped through and I've just seen someone shouting Kiss My Cloaca. Could be this one then, because this is told from an animal's perspective. So it'd be a little bit different. Um, and then maybe I could just read that one afterwards. But then that's me reading my short books, which is why I don't have many on my shelves, because I just read my short books. I do really need to do another SF Masterworks month, don't I? But a few of those would fit into the bingo. Definitely would fit into the bingo. Hmm. What am I in the mood for? Should I read Hollow Kingdom? I had that one on my wish list for quite a while because it definitely intrigued me be being from the perspective of a crow. Here's a pandemic book. Um, is this a debut? I don't know. It doesn't say that it's a debut. I'm sure I could find something that this would fit into, especially if it takes place anywhere in the forest. Shall we read this one? Let's read Hollow Kingdom and see what we think. It's just after half past six and I've eaten some leftover pizza, which was rather nice. I'm going to read for a bit. I'm going to start on Hollow Kingdom. I'm not reading all night because I would like to do some cross stitch. Really would like to work on getting the Enterprise finished. So I think I'm going to read this for about an hour and a half and then watch a couple of episodes of Star Trek while I cross stitch. It's like nearly eight o'clock, not far off. I've read the first few chapters of Hollow Kingdom and I've really enjoyed it so far. I really like the voice of the crow we've met and all the different animals as well. It's a kind of zombie apocalypse book told from the perspective of animals and pets and things and just getting a little bit deeper into the setup but I'm really in the mood to do some Star Trek cross stitch watch Star Trek do some Star Trek cross stitch yeah so I'm doing that the next episode I'm watching is Sarek which is the 23rd episode of season three I've got the best of both worlds coming up soon and I'm so looking forward to re-watching that one so time to work on the Enterprise I feel like I'm going to have a good go at it tonight, so here's a quick before. I did two episodes worth of cross stitch and have made really good progress. I've finished off this area and I'm working on this area now. It's almost 10pm and my hair is looking pretty amazing. Um, I'm finishing the vlog here. I'm sorry it's not the most thrilling of vlogs this weekend. It's been very, very quiet. And I just wanted to get my book finished. So I'm going to work on Hollow Kingdom over the next few days and then start my short stories out of my Tor.com book because I still haven't opened it. So um, maybe next weekend's vlog will be a little bit more interesting. I don't know. Let's hope so. I'll see you soon.